Right now, your KNOE 8 News hour by hour forecast. Well, good evening, everyone. Here's a look at our Creed and Creed Tower Cam. We have some puffy cumulus clouds out there, but a lot of us are still enjoying sunshine. But the farther west you go, the cloudier it is, and that's because of an approaching cold front. We'll talk more about that front coming up. In the meantime, I wanted to talk about the big story in the weather world, and that is potential tropical cyclone number nine. It is located in the western Gulf of Mexico, and it is forecast to strengthen and become a hurricane as we head throughout the next couple of days. And latest forecasts take this storm into the panhandle and the Big Bend area of Florida, potentially as a category three storm. So this will make major headlines as we head toward Thursday. Uh, so we'll be keeping in keeping an eye on this system. Now, when we take a look at the ensemble forecast, each of these lines indicate where the center of the storm may go. We have a lot of agreement that we're talking about the Big Bend area and the panhandle of Florida experiencing a direct impact from this storm system. And as we track it moving north, this is just one model, but this is just to show you a visualization of what could happen. We're looking at this storm approaching the panhandle in the Big Bend area of Florida as we head toward Thursday afternoon, then eventually it makes landfall and then some of that moisture associated with it starts to stress back to the west and some of that moisture could impact us here in the Arklamas as we head toward Friday. We're not expecting any major impacts from the system, but again, it is something that could bring us some light rain by the time we get to Friday. We're also tracking a disturbance that is now uh, getting more and more organized. It has a 70% chance of forming over the next seven days. And this is again, the Eastern Atlantic is well away from land now. So it's not at this point a threat to any of us here in the Arklamas or even in the US, but it is something we'll be following. Now let's talk about what's happening locally. We have temperatures right now in the upper 80s and low 90s, 91 degrees in Tallulah. We are a little cooler across southern parts of Arkansas. That's because of an approaching cold front that will bring some rain chances to our region as we head through Tuesday and Wednesday. But before that front arrives, we're dealing with the warmth and humidity. It feels like we are in the mid to upper 90s all across our region. And that is going to be the case at least for another day. And then we'll start to see cooler weather take over. I do want to point out we're expecting moderate levels of pollen and other allergens in the air over the next couple of days, but then we'll see high levels as we head toward Thursday. So you allergy sufferers, unfortunately, you'll get uh, limited relief over the next few days. But as we talk about what's happening, we have this cold front uh, that is right now triggering some rain across parts of Arkansas. This front will continue to push east, and as it does so, it'll bring us rain chances as we head toward Tuesday and Wednesday. But in terms of tonight, we may deal with a stray shower, but that will be about it. We'll have some clouds out there as well. And then as we look toward tomorrow morning, we start out quiet, we start out warm, temperatures in the low to mid 70s. And by the afternoon, as that front is sitting near by, we could see a few more showers develop. So we'll be watching for some limited rain as we head through Tuesday and then again for Wednesday. But tonight we're dealing with partly cloudy conditions, a stray shower and temperatures down to the low 70s. We'll have your seven day forecast in a moment. Tens of millions of roofs across America are failing, wearing out decades early and leaking oftentimes without you knowing about it, causing tremendous damage. Here's how you know you have a problem with your roof. Black streaking, your roof looks rough, or granules shedding off into your gutters or showing up in your driveway. Your roof is wearing out too fast and it's going to cost you a bundle. RoofMax makes your roof like new by strengthening and rejuvenating it. So give us a call and we'll give you a free assessment to see if your roof qualifies. And as we take a look at the seven day forecast, we'll have some limited rain out there for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then again, potentially some of that wraparound moisture from what's left of what would be Helene moving inland. We can see some of that across our region. After that, we'll be quieter for the weekend and into next week. And if you're concerned about Friday night football, I think you should be OK. I don't think we'll have any major impacts. Just a shower here or there. KNOE.